day off. Well, coming up on today, we're going to talk about Cuba, Castro, and where they're headed with the Reverend Jesse Jackson. We're also going to hear some predictions for what's ahead for Hollywood stars from some big name psychics and find out the odds of. I was going to ask you how you got involved with the Bay Area Humane Society. Um, I was approached two years ago by passing on of diseases amongst animals. Uh, if one animal gets parvo, as an example, um, many of the other dogs then become infected because this disease is airborne and it's carried through this one system. Our new uh, building is designed to have three systems. Uh, one for the cats, one for dogs and animals, and then one... Home to his resting place, Richard Nixon will be buried there on the grounds of his presidential library and birthplace following funeral services on Wednesday. And good morning, everyone. I'm Charles Gibson. And I'm Joan London. It is Monday. It is April 25th. Good to be back with you. Yeah, Missed nice you last to week. Have you back. The uh, Nixon story has been uh, one that we've been talking about. And I'm Charles Gibson. And I'm Joan London. It's Monday, April 25th. When Richard Nixon took office in 1969, this nation was deeply divided over the Vietnam War, you may remember. Mr. Nixon had pledged to end that war. And if Daughters to work. I mean, you're going out into the schools then and... Yeah. Getting them excited. Well, it's been lovely having you here right now. Everybody can buy Remember Me. Thank you, Joan. And you keep writing, Jamie. Think royalty checks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and save Lovely having you here right now. Everybody can buy Remember Me. Thank you, Joan. And you keep writing, Jamie. Think royalty checks. Maybe someday they'll all be put together. Don't throw one of them out. <laughs> all right. Good to see you. Mary. Good to see you, Joan. Jamie. And thank you, Jamie. <laughs> All right, after a break, tips on redoing your bathroom when Good Morning America continues. For suspense, climbing the New York Times bestseller list as usual, and the queen of suspense joins us this morning, and because it's Take Our Daughters to Work Day, and she's be because she's a very, very big fan of Mary Higgins Clark, my oldest daughter Jamie is my co-host for this part of the uh, show this morning for the interview, and you obviously took your daughter to work with you since she also became in it, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. write about them like they're real. Do you really believe in ghosts? Oh, absolutely, Joan. I mean, my house isn't... <laughs> you say accuracy is very important. And I just love teaching in those classes. I was in the fourth grade. Those kids were so smart. That's we were planning our own story. See, no, that's hey, hey! Welcome back to the program. Every time I come here, you don't you plant. Now we know how to repel ants, gnats, moths, fleas, but I wonder if there's a, an indoor plant that'll repel cockroaches. Not a chance. <laughs> we <laughs> looked into guess, it. And no, 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 no. No, wishful thinking uh, on my part. Wishful thinking. I, I need one to repel water bugs. I have no roaches at home, but like I get one huge like rainforest-sized <laughs> water bug a month. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, a New York someday. phenomenon, right. no doubt. <laughs> Well, we go back now to the Kansas City Zoo, where meteorologist Bruce Jones from our Kansas City, City affiliate KMBC. Tire foot on the on the um, platform, mm -hmm. and push up using the buttocks. Whoa. Push up, right? Okay. So no so, more elevators, right? Well, you know, if you wear comfortable shoes, you would just use your legs and push up like this. Okay. Try it. Stand up here, right? But okay. not use your arms. Now that works your thighs. I right. feel it there. But watch on the way down. Go really okay. slow. Go really slow, and just sit back mm -hmm. down. It's like it makes you look really graceful, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you're using the muscles in your buttocks. So you can think of using your quads on the way up and resist A. It becomes, um, you know, it, it, you build it into your schedule and it becomes like a little body shaper sure. that you put into your everyday activity. Now, you also recommend going up and down stairs. Yeah, stairs are great. Okay, you let's know, try that. When I worked. And good morning, Melanie. Good morning, everyone. Melanie's actually going to be with us. I'm Charles Gibson this morning. And I'm Willow Bay this morning as well, sitting in for John London. Actually, we're Charlie Gibson and Willow Bay every day, but we <laughs> also are this morning. On screen, uh, life is good for actress Melanie Griffith. I, I love that phrase, life is good. There was a, was it uh, Randy Travis, I think, was on our show a couple of months ago and said, my life is good. He got about six syllables into good. But anyway, <laughs> life is good for Melanie Griffith. Uh, she's now still... See this sweater? I do. It's a scientific breakthrough of sorts because it wasn't dyed this color, it actually grew this way. Because breeders have figured out how to grow cotton in a range of colors. And that may be good news for consumers and the environment. That story coming up. Also, Spencer is saying, gee whiz this week, because of a hot selling device that tells you how much time you've got left in life. He'll show us how it works after a few more ticks of the clock. But first, 
We'll get caught up with all the news. Here's Morton Dean at the news desk. Mort. Right. Morning. Have its die hard. Tim mentioned in the piece that home improvement is Wednesdays at 9, and it isn't anymore. The new season finds the show on Tuesdays at 8 here on ABC. And be sure to watch Good Morning America this week for part two of a candid interview about Iran-Contra with Robert McFarlane. We'll see you next week. Have camera, will travel. Our next guest is a noted photojournalist who has gone around the world to shoot some of the most famous faces of our time. We're happy to say that Linda Liberty profiles. Good morning, Linda. Good morning. Hi. So what are you going to be bringing us? They're actually photographic essays comprised of... We have uh, Tony Bennett as an artist, mm -hmm. not as a singer, but as an artist. And today we have... Some what do you do it again alone? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're glad you're here, and I'm glad it was you and not me who Thank was doing it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Denise. Mama didn't raise no fool. <laughs> <laughs> well, now with the five-day forecast, we return. Fascinating story, John. Thanks very much. Thank you. In a moment, we'll be topic of conversation, and NBC's John Palmer is here to tell us why. John, good morning, and welcome back to today. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you very much. Well, uh, uh, giving oh, up Willard. everything there is, right? <laughs> Elizabeth, th does that sound like a lot of... Tomorrow's show, we'll discuss it. I, I can give up anything, anytime. <laughs> Changed her. I think it's made her a little more melancholy. Sees Tom Broke Eyes. Talk to her about it. Tom, good morning. Good morning, Margaret. Uh, well, Flachie's an old... A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so tough to get Steve to come on the show. Oh yeah, <laughs> would have been tougher to say no. <laughs> Quiet. Somebody else we know is here this morning. Tom Brokaw. In fact, now 8:30 on this Monday morning. I'm Brian Gumble. Margaret Larson is uh, over here from the news desk while Katie's uh, away on vacation. Straight ahead in this half hour, we're going to be visited. We still got a half hour to go for a Monday morning. Or we have a yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be, and Steve Friedman has actually written a book without wow. pictures, no crayons. <laughs> Talk about after station work. That. <laughs> From Monday morning, Oriana Falachi. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. It's right. be, and Steve Friedman has actually written a book without wow. pictures, no crayons. <laughs> Talk about after Don't station work. An amazing person, uh -huh. and you're going to lose that bet. I bet he is jogging by October. Yeah, but that right. was the purpose of all of this was to that's lose right. that bet. This is what he thinks that his life is all about. He's really a remarkable young man. He know. is an amazing person, uh -huh. and you're going to lose that bet. I bet he is jogging by October. Yeah, but that's that right. was the. rates compared to the rates of breast cancer in this country. And the licorice root sticks? Again, it contains inhibitors that prevent cancer in the laboratory. We're still thinking about how we can get this into our diet. I hope it's just a year down the road we can bring <laughs> you back and you say yes, in fact. Talented people have gone on to do a lot of things. Yes. Obviously, now you're directing this. Does the Fonz still linger? See, there we go again. I came here, Nancy, <laughs> to talk about the film. But I don't want to talk about, I can't talk about the Fonz. Henry, sit I'm down. Going. I'm sit down. down. This is my I, interview. I will now not talk. talk about the Fonz. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Hold him. Norman, now. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> now, answer April my question. April Fools. <laughs> Just Hold him. Kidding, Hold him. No, this is not Charlie's interview. Hold him. Now, yes, I like being the Fonz. I did, didn't I? <laughs> I like being the Fonz. I love the Fonz. I had a great time being the Fonz. Well, good, because guess what? Some pile a million miles high of this yeah. stuff somewhere because you get so much of it. Anyway, mm -hmm. they've come up with a new thing. This is called an air bubble. And you get these little bags, they're flat, 
Can you see we've put a piece of fine china inside, a, a cup and a saucer. You put it in here and then you blow this thing up. Mm -hmm. And... Oh my God. Bounce it all around. You can... Uh, I'm, excuse me, I'm going to go get the uh, cup that I... Uh, and it won't break the cup and saucer. Uh, I was shooting hook shots with it earlier yeah. and uh, it was working perfectly. But and it, it shrinks right work. down. And then you pop it when you get it there and you've got uh, some, actually some recycling. That can that is neat. It really is nice. There we go. Well, there that go. one works. This time I caught it. Okay. Uh, we also have uh, crayons that are made differently than most crayons. They're non-toxic. They're neat. It's a, yeah. a drain, sink drain. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Don't have to put the toxic chemicals in because... Because the bottom of it pops out. So when all the hair ah. and all the stuff collects on it, right. you just pop it out, empty it, and put it together, it. and How put it back together. Idiots like me. <laughs> uh, Paul Lyons is always here talking about our consumer editor, talking about the fact that you've got to watch out for lead in various products, uh, particularly in plates, other things. This is a little thing uh, called a lead checker. And they come in a packet of, of about um, 12 or so, so hmm. you can uh, check a lot of things in your house. Well, I'm taking here. these home. Okay. <laughs> All right. And what else? I you have kids. You got a doll? Yeah. Environmentally These friendly doll, which we don't have time to tell you about. For the, clothes for kids, soft and cuddly. Okay. All right. All right. Hold on to your hats. It, it is April 22nd, Earth Day, but I wanted to, to talk to you just a moment about this lovely lady that we're going to have, on, which is probably the beauty we're of all of it. We talking about Joan? Close. <laughs> Close. No. We're talking. <laughs> we're talking about. I'm in me. trouble when she comes back. <laughs> no. We're talking about a, a young woman who's. This is how she dressed in the '60s. She lived in my house for a considerable period of time. Oh yeah, and and if she still lived in your house, she'd probably be worth thousands of dollars. We're going to talk about that too. The old ones, a fashion show for mm -hmm. Barbie today. Is that right? Awesome. And good morning, everyone. Good to have you with us on this Earth Day, 1993. I'm Charles Gibson, and I'm Dana King, sitting in for Joan London. It is Thursday. Yeah? And what would the date be? Uh, the uh, 22nd. I knew <laughs> you you'd ask it. me that. <laughs> you got it. We're going to go back uh, to Waco again. I'm sold on this, but what if you're both a buyer... Hello, nice to see you. How are you doing, Good. 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 We meet in hotel lobby. That's right. Absolutely. Paula Zahn, how you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah. How are you all doing? Got one Just of the great, great. smiles on the uh, television. Absolutely, yes. The best <laughs> teeth. Thank you. Go ahead. Yeah. We meet in hotel lobby. That's right. Absolutely. Paula Zahn, how you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah. How are you all doing? Got one Just of the great, great. smiles on the uh, television. <laughs> but it's the darnest thing. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> Believe me, she'd like to. <laughs> I it won't, it won't hurt. Them. Watch out. <laughs> Believe me, she'd like to. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we're going to be talking with Kay Reynolds, who joins me now, representing the Boys and Girls Clubs, about parenting for prevention. What does that mean, Kay? What's parenting for prevention? Parenting for Prevention is a Johnson & Johnson program that I have run. At so maybe they need some advice, some help on how to do it more effectively? Right, I feel... Roku, a man with many solutions and a few accurate forecasts along the way. <laughs> so, you know the one thing I don't have in common with that? What's that? A comb. Anyway. <laughs> so now, Al Roker, 